Uh, Katie, tell us more about what we have just learned in the last few minutes. Well, yes, this will come as a huge shock to viewers. Uh, we've had a statement within the last few minutes from Vicky Flind, who is the wife of Hugh Edwards, um, who named him as the BBC presenter facing allegations and said about her husband that he was suffering from serious mental health issues and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he will stay for the foreseeable future. And she asked for privacy for her family. Now, as we've been reporting for days on the BBC now, uh, there has been speculation ever since The Sun began to report on the presenter and we haven't been able to name him. But this news will be such a shock to viewers and because... I must, I must just correct something as well because this is all breaking in the last few minutes. He has not resigned. He has been named by his wife. He has not resigned. Yes, then. he's been named by his wife and he is uh, in a hospital suffering serious mental health issues. It's a huge shock to all of us here at, the, at BBC News, of course, um, to announce this and that this has come in in these last few moments. But you're right, uh, we have heard nothing about a resignation. Um, what I would say, though, is that this is such dramatic news. I mean, this is a man who has embodied BBC values, has been the face of the BBC, has held viewers' hands through so many of the kind of momentous, significant parts of our nation's history, whether that's general elections, royal events, the Queen's death, of course, the King's coronation. So I think we're all um, coming to terms with this news. Clearly, we've been saying for some time now that we have known the identity of the presenter but haven't been able to name him for legal reasons. Now we are able to, and clearly there has been huge speculation online about this, but now definitive, definitively comes this news. And Dominic, let's just talk to you as well. We, there's been a statement as well. There have been an awful lot of statements in the last few minutes, one from the Metropolitan Police. There has, yes. And in fact, there's, there's also been another more from Hugh Edwards' his wife, which um, I think cases need, needs a few minutes to get across. Well, I'll read this statement from the police. So the police were handed information by the BBC earlier this week. So this relates specifically to the son's allegation that uh, Hugh Edwards paid a 17-year-old for sexually explicit images. So this is at the heart of the, uh, the allegations that they started. This, this is what detectives have now said. Detectives from the Met Specialist Crime Command have now conclu concluded their assessment, so that's the material they've been passed and the information they've been given, and have determined there is no information to indicate that a criminal offence has been committed. In reaching this decision, they have spoken to a number of parties, including the BBC and the alleged complainant, and the alleged complainant's family, both via another police force. There is no further police action. As such, the Met has advised the BBC it can continue with its internal investigation. We're aware of media reporting of further allegations against the same individual. No specific details or information about these allegations have been passed to us, and therefore there is no police action at this time. Should evidence of criminality or safeguarding issues be identified at any point, we would expect matters to be referred to the relevant police force. You know, I mean, effectively saying we will do our job if needs be. But the important element there is no further police action. They've looked at the allegation, effectively, as it first surfaced in the sun, as it was passed to the BBC, and as it was then passed from the BBC to detectives. And they've decided there is nothing for them to do. There is no criminal allegation there. And it's quite an extraordinary moment that we have this situation where uh, you know, this, this leading television personality on, on the one hand, has now effectively felt he has to, uh, his family felt he has to be identified over something which the police have decided tonight actually is not worth them investigating. And, and he has been urged over the last few days by other BBC presenters to come forward and identify himself. And just to be clear, so Hugh Edwards has been identified, he has not resigned. Absolutely. So we have now just received via the Press Association PA News Agency a longer statement from Hugh Edwards' wife, Vicky Flind, who says, in light of the recent reporting regarding the BBC presenter, I'm making this statement on behalf of my husband, Hugh Edwards, after what have been five extremely difficult days for our family. I am doing this primarily out of concern for his mental well-being and to protect our children. Hugh is suffering from serious mental health issues. As is well documented, she says, he has been treated for severe depression in recent years. The events of the last few days have greatly worsened matters. He has suffered another serious episode and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he'll stay for the foreseeable future. Once well enough to do so, he intends to respond to the stories that have been published. To be clear, she goes on, Hugh was first told that there were allegations being made against him last Thursday. 
in the circumstances and given Hugh's condition, I would like to ask that the privacy of my family and everyone else caught up in these upsetting events is respected. I know that Hugh is deeply sorry that so many colleagues have been impacted by the recent media speculation. We hope this statement will bring that to an end. So those are the words of his wife in the last few minutes. Well, a major development on this story that has dominated the headlines for many days now. For now, both of you, though, thank you.